Hey, I'm Shannon Burns and welcome to The Filter. We have details on what you can expect from the Billboard Music Awards this weekend, ASAP Rocky confirmed his relationship to Rihanna, and Demi Lovato has come out as non-binary. These are all stories that we're going to cover in today's episode, so let's get into it. The Billboard Music Awards are coming up this weekend and our Canadian own The Weeknd is up for 16 nominations. Take that, Grammys. Drake currently holds a record for the most amount of wins in one night when he won 13 back in 2017. So The Weeknd could end up taking over that record this weekend. Other artists who scored nominations include Dua Lipa. She's nominated in four categories, including Top Female Artist. BTS has four as well, including Top Duo Slash Group. Pop Smoke and Juice World they both have nominations, including Top Artist. And some of the performers include The Weeknd, Alicia Keys, BTS, who's going to be performing their new song, Butter, and Pink, who's going to be receiving Billboard's Icon Award. Plus, Nick Jonas is going to be the host of the entire event. There has been rumors for a while that ASAP Rocky and Rihanna are in a relationship, but neither one of them have confirmed it until now. Rocky just did an interview with GQ and he talked about his relationship with Rihanna and he called her the love of his life. The rumors actually go all the way back to 2013, but we believe that they've been dating for just about a year. When he was asked what it's like to be in a relationship, he said so much better when you got the one. She amounts to probably like a million of the other ones. I think when you know, you know, she's the one. Excuse us while we just gush over this most attractive couple. Honestly, try and think of a more attractive duo than Rihanna and ASAP Rocky. We'll wait. He also talked in the interview about the time that he spent in a Swedish prison, his sense of style and why fashion is so important to him. The whole article is a really good read. We got the full length trailer for the Friends reunion special that is coming out next week. I feel like we've been talking about this since before the pandemic even started. We can expect a lot to go down, including a trivia game with the cast hosted by David Schwimmer, of course, interviews with the cast about their experiences, a table read of an episode, and just all of the guest stars. A list was revealed showing who we can expect to make an appearance and a lot of people are wondering how they're going to incorporate so many people like Justin Bieber, BTS and Lady Gaga into the special. But based on the trailer, it looks like they might be doing a bit of a fashion show showing off some iconic looks from the show. We already saw Cara Delevingne, she wears Rachel's really ugly bridesmaid dress. We heard rumors that Justin Bieber is going to be dressed up as Spudnik and somebody is going to be in the armadillo suit but we just can't figure out who that person is yet. I'm really hoping that it's Gaga or at least one member of BTS. Demi Lovato made the announcement that they came to the realization that they are non-binary and will be going by the pronouns they slash them. And they explained why. I feel that this best represents the fluidity I feel in my gender expression and allows me to feel most authentic and true to the person I both know I am and still am discovering. In this first episode, I'm excited to share with you what this means to me and what it may look like for other people. I want to make it clear that I'm still learning and coming into myself, and I don't claim to be an expert or a spokesperson. Non-binary, if you don't know, it means somebody who feels like they don't fit into the male or the female identity, but they fit somewhere outside of the gender binary, hence the term non-binary. And this is something that has existed for thousands of years in many different cultures. So the best way that you can actually show your respect for somebody who is non-binary is by using the correct use of their pronouns. You can also add your preferred pronouns on social media or even your Zoom name. Instagram actually just made this a feature that's now available to let others know what yours are without them having to ask. And this actually really helps create a safer space for people who are trans and non-binary and it shows a lot of inclusion, so consider doing that. There are also tons of resources online to better understand what it all means and things that you can do to help. Thank you so much for watching this episode of The Filter. Make sure that you follow us on our socials to stay up to date with all of the latest music news, including our TikTok, where we have been going live with other artists doing live Q&As that you won't want to miss. Our handle on everything is iHeartRadioCA. And if you want to get more music news and all of that, it's all on our website at iHeartRadio.ca. I'll see you on Tuesday for a new episode of The Filter.